everyone. Uh, here I am reviewing uh, the ES, which is the S&P 500 uh, future contract. Uh, this analysis can also be applied to, you know, the SPY, which is the uh, S&P 500 uh, ETF. And here I have a uh, daily chart. And uh, this morning, or actually I should say last Friday, uh, the market reached quite uh, an important level. So it reached the uptrend line that has been there since the recovery from COVID uh, back in March, April uh, last year. So since there here. So we see that this trend line has been very important and it was able to recently support the market here on, on the February 1st. And last Friday, we saw the market reaching that line and also reaching the 50 day moving average. So we had a convergence of two levels together, which is an even st stronger um, level itself than just having one uh, specific level at one place. And on top of that, we have 3,800. So when you combine those three together, uptrend line plus round number with plus the 50 day moving average here, you have a convergence of three levels at around the same price. So that provides a pretty strong support. And what we saw last Friday, we saw the market you know, stabilizing itself here. And now today we're seeing a, a bullish engulfing pattern. So those three candlesticks together, which is the bearish engulfing pattern here. Here we have a neutral candlestick there. And then we have a bullish engulfing pattern. So we have, it, it, it's what we call a morning star at a key level. So it's, it's a pretty strong formation. And then what, what we're going to have to monitor in, uh, in the next few days is to see if it can reach the little downtrend line here. And if it starts to break, then stocks will probably go to uh, 4,000, which is the next psychological level and the chart here. Remember that since the market is at all time highs, we cannot have any previous levels to rely on to find resistance. So we have to go with uh, psychological numbers. On the other end, if we start to see some weakness during the week and it starts to come back and test the uptrend line again, uh, I think we have to be careful there because surely there's a lot of stop losses below it as a lot of buyers ha have their stopped just below the line. And if it's the case, then we could see a pretty good shakeout that could lead us perhaps to the next support, which here we can see that 3600 seems to be a key level where we previously had resistance now that that became support at the end of last year and it's a round number as well so um, definitely we got to keep this level in mind it's, it is a pretty pretty important level and this uh, big rally since last year